kind of kept me inspired, kept you inspired with the studio so that we maintain a beautiful space and keep all of our gorgeous clients. This video is broken up into a couple of different sections. The first is what cleaning supplies that you need. The second part is all the steps within that. You can apply these cleaning ideas to a normal space, like to your home or office space or your home office or your home studio or just your home in general as well. It doesn't specifically have to be a Pilates studio, but it is catered more towards Pilates studio because that's that's why I'm doing this video. Okay, and um, also I love watching cleaning videos, so that's kind of another part of it as well. I've always wanted to do one because I watch them so much. Man, that's sad. Let's get down and dirty. sessions and at the end of the day I just feel like I have lots of small props everywhere so tidying them up between clients is really important. I also use a lot of grip mats in my studio so that people don't slide and they feel much safer using them so I chuck the grip mats in the machine whenever they get really grubby. is next to godliness. So um, I bet you're curious about what I'm listening to. I'm actually listening to my own podcast called Art of Pilates. Um, actually, just kidding. I'm actually listening to a playlist that me and one of my clients actually made. The playlist is called Sarah and I'll link it down below. I also have a lot of fuzzies in the studio. Sometimes I'll use the fuzzies wrapped around the poles of my Cadillac more as a sound softener because I live in an apartment and between my floorboards and the ceiling down below there's just a gap so sound travels through really easily. actually keeps less cat fur in the studio, strangely. So use a paintbrush to dust the cleats and all the small nooks and crannies in your reformer. So it's good to have two microfiber cloths. One which is a damp one for cleaning and the other one which is a dry one for polishing and drying.
So it's important to use your wet cloth to clean up the dirt. And then use the dry cloth to dry all of those little moisture particles and that keeps the hygiene level in your studio at a really high level because no bacteria can sit and multiply in that wet space. So drying off is just as important as wiping down with a wet cloth. Find the circular motion is great for polishing and drying. So you might do this throughout the day, not just all in one go at the end of the day, depending on how many clients you have and how grubby your equipment is starting to look. a day do you wipe down your equipment I feel like I'm forever wiping down my equipment but it actually keeps the equipment lasting for longer so oils from the skin hair products they deteriorate the vinyl so the more that we can wipe down between clients the longer our equipment is going to last for One of my clients said to me that the studio should not smell like cleaning products. So no bleach, no Windex. It should smell like nothing. So by cleaning just with pure water and microfiber cloths, I feel like you get that clean smell of nothing. I like to change my drinking water daily and I use this to water my plants. I think it's really nice to have flowers at the front of the studio to welcome my clients. vacuum straight and then a diagonal back because then you're always picking up all of you're not missing out on any spots on the floor I love the straight lines of the vacuum on the couch. So 
So it makes a big difference having clean runners on your reformer. I went to a girlfriend's studio one time and she had a very expensive reformer. She'd paid a lot of money for it, but she never cleaned the runners and it was such a bumpy ride. Like it was just bumpy from all the dirt and grime that had built up over the years. By keeping the runners clean, you end up with a really smooth glide and it feels so nice to have that lovely smooth feeling. Here is when you see a bit of dust vacuum it up straight away don't let it just sit there and annoy you using microfiber to clean these particular cloths actually have two different sides so one side is rougher and one side is smoother the smoother side is great for polishing glass metal and just making everything really really sparkle the other side has got almost like little tiny fingers sticking out that you can use to wipe and clean dirt those little fibers because they have a little bit more surface area to stick out, they actually pick up more bits of dirt and grime. So you might not need to do this every single day, but where you see grime, get rid of it straight away. I also have my Squatty Potty here. So I really highly recommend the Squatty Potty. I'm not sponsored by Squatty Potty, but I really love the concept. Having your feet up a little higher when you're sitting on the toilet, especially when you're defecating, really helps to relax your bowels so you're able to let everything go with ease so i recommend all my clients use this just to assist with pelvic floor health orchids are my favorite orchids last so long which is why i love them So much for watching i really appreciate that you're actually watching my videos please subscribe please share this video make a comment below make sure you hit the notifications button so you know whenever i release a new video